Hey everybody, it's Wednesday, June 2nd, 2010. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, a couple of days ago, uh, Israel committed a horrendous act of piracy and murder on the high seas, killing at least nine activists aboard the Mavi Marmara. Uh, and most of them uh, Turkish nationals. This uh, this really uh, hurts me because I feel a special connection to Turkish people. Uh, and I saw the footage of the people on the Mavi Marmara attacking the uh, Israeli soldiers and that made me feel good to see it made me feel good to see people defending themselves. Now, what, uh, you know, defending themselves from armed attack by pirates. If you think that that's not justified, for them to attack those soldiers and to throw them overboard, you've got to check this baby out really good. Think about what's going on in your head if you think that there's something wrong with that uh, you know maybe you would feel the same way if it was an Israeli ship being attacked by Palestinian pirates maybe you would be all outraged over the Israelis defending themselves with deck chairs from armed uh, terrorists maybe how dare those Palestinians how dare those Israelis defend themselves from attack by Palestinian pirates. We can't let that happen. Those Israelis are horrible people if they try to fight back. Is that what you would tell me? I don't think so. I don't think so. But you would tell me that Turkish people on a boat being attacked by Israeli soldiers should just sit there and accept it and allow them to commandeer their vessel, tow them into Israel, take all of their aid, and put them in prison to service an illegal blockade, which has been roundly condemned by the international community and the UN and was again condemned by the UN and the UN Security Council which demanded an immediate end to the blockade, which they termed as illegal. So, you know, uh, the fact that people are actually defending this action, it's not surprising to me, but it's sad. It's really sad that people are so mentally enslaved that even this they will view as a good thing and try to defend it and try to uh, go along with whatever the Israeli government says. Now the Israeli government they're putting this these lies out on a daily basis now talking about how you know the the protesters were uh, the activists were violent and they were just defending themselves and all of this nonsense. But notice one thing. They don't want anybody to see the footage that those people on those boats gathered. Those people on those boats had cameras. They had video cameras. They were recording everything that was happen happening. Now, if the Israeli government was so innocent and those protesters were so bad, they were providing all of the evidence themselves. They were filming everything that was going on. They were filming everything that they were doing. And they were filming everything that the IDF was doing. And what did the IDF do? Did they grab those cameras and say, Aha, we have the evidence right here. No. They grabbed those cameras and they destroyed them. They smashed them. They confiscated them and destroyed them. That's what they did. Now, why did they do that? Why? Why? If they were the good guys, and they were the victims, why did they immediately destroy the evidence? 
Just think about that. And why has there been a complete media blackout? Why have they not told anybody anything, even the names of the dead, they won't release? We don't even know how many people were killed. Doesn't that tell you something? So, you know, it, uh, it seems to me that this whole thing is bringing out a lot of, uh, a lot of the good and the bad in people. And I've seen a lot of uh, nobility and a lot of baseness lately. It's really, it's really dividing people up, you know, uh, and it's bringing out those who are base and those who are noble. And it's accentuating the baseness of the base and the nobility of the noble. Uh, and, um, you know, I just, I can't tell you the disgust and the revulsion that I feel for some people, like uh, like Thunderfool, for instance. Uh, it, just an absolutely disgusting, uh, reprehensible entity, this person. He's on a campaign to demonize Muslims, but he doesn't care one bit when Turkish people are gunned down on a Turkish vessel trying to send food and medicine to starving children. That doesn't matter to Thunderfool. Doesn't matter to his rabid followers. His Thunderflock, they're not interested in that. They're not interested in the oil spill in the Gulf that's going to destroy the lives of everybody in the coastal region of Louisiana. They're not worried about that. They're not worried about the people in Gaza who are starving. They're worried about their little cartoons and whether they can drag out these disgusting theories about Muslims being pedophiles. It's, um, you know, I, I just feel like maybe I need to just distance myself from even talking about them because it's going to pollute my mind with, with uh, you know, their depravity. Uh, I mean, I just can't, I can't condemn those people enough, I don't think. I mean, they're just so sickening and so disgusting in the way that they talk and the way that they act and the way that they're silent when the real crimes are being committed. But they're such martyrs and such, such heroes when it comes to the imaginary crimes and when it comes to throwing themselves in front of imaginary dangers, they would never, ever, and they told, and some of them have told me this, they think you're a moron if you try to help a, a child who's being murdered, you know, a child who's being starved, and you put yourself in danger to help that person, you're a moron, because you might actually get hurt. You need to protect yourself and, and screw everybody else in the world. Screw justice. Screw humanity. It's all about me. My cartoons. My freedom of speech. My precious prejudices and hatreds. My pride and arrogance. It's all about me for those people. But there are people right now who are dead because they tried to help children who happen to be the wrong religion right now. Imagine that. And there's another ship called the Rachel Corey, which is right now sailing toward Gaza. And they know perfectly well that they could be shot, but they're going anyway. And those people aren't even on YouTube bragging on themselves about it. They're just doing it. Think about that, you members of the Thunderflock. Think about that. Thanks for watching.